Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Chester. My name is Chester and today I'll be doing a video on is Bitcoin going to fully recover, okay? The way that I'll be doing that, I'll be doing a little TA on the short term, the mid term and the long term of Bitcoin, okay? Without further ado, let's just get into it. On the hourly chart for Bitcoin, as you can see here, we do have a falling price channel, okay? We did have a lot of confirmations, a lot of touches, okay? As you can see, we did get absolutely destroyed by Elon's tweet in terms of that dump there, which I'm sure you guys already knew. In terms of the measure move that we had from that channel, it was looking something like that, all the way down to 48. So congratulations to people who got in that trade. I think I was around an 8 or 9%. Yeah, 9% trade there to the downside. If you guys got in short, that would have been brilliant, okay? In terms of supports and resistances for the short term of Bitcoin right now, we do have this horizontal support line here, and that is at 96K, okay? We have, we came down, we, we, um, we broke the support line, as you can see here. We came down, broke the support line, set um, a higher low here. We set a higher low and they basically came up and then tested it. Didn't get resistance off it, actually found support on it. And now we're on a nice little, nice little uptrend here, okay? And as what I can see, what I can see happening here, I can see us basically coming up and testing this trend line of this falling channel that we have here, okay? Hopefully that's what we're gonna do because we all know that we need so we we need some we need some um, upward price action. We need some bullish price action um, on Bitcoin right now. As you can see, we do have this support, this level of resistance to break here, and that is at around 51.3. Okay. In terms of what I think is going to happen, I think we're going to come up, test this trend line, and basically come down from there, and basically have have a con consolidation period before um, the confirmation of a new sort of trend, right? In terms of what's happening on the RSI, we were oversold. We were tragically oversold due to Elon and his absolute mess, right? So in terms of what I what I think is going to happen on the RSI, we do have this sort of this pattern forming here. So I can see us basically coming up, as I said, testing this trend line, causing a buying sequence in in the RSI, and then basically coming down and basically respecting respecting this trend line that we have got formed here, okay? So that's what I think is gonna happen on the RSI for the short term for Bitcoin. In terms of what I think is gonna happen on the MACD that's gonna actually affect the price, let me just bring that up bigger for you guys. Yeah, as you can see, we did set a really insane low, lower low here, okay? We did set an insane lower low, the start of a really big trend, okay? We could, we could potentially see, as you can see, we did have a bullish crossover on the MACD, causing some sort of, uh, we, causing um, a bull trend um, to form on the MACD here, but as you can see, we do have this trend line on the MACD to respect, which we're currently we're currently testing it. We're currently testing it, but what I can see happening here is something along the lines of we're coming up, we're testing it. We come up, we test this trend line just here, right? We come up, we test this trend line here, just here. As I said, there's another fundamental that we're going to come up and test it, and then we'll see some sort of reversal in the price, and that basically indicates that we're going to see an, a lower high on the MACD here, probably forming some sort of trend looking like this, right? Some sort of trend looking like this that um, that we can basically see happening. And for that to happen, we're probably going to we're going to see a bearish crossover on the MACD, probably happening in a few hours or so, but. We're probably going to see some some sort of price action looking like this. Okay, so around around nine nine ten o'clock tonight English time, right? That's when I can see something sort of happening. Okay, and that is the, that's the MACD on what I think is going to happen. Let me bring up the Wob machine, and this is basically an indicator made by courtesy of Bitcoin Beats, right? This is made up of all the major moving averages. It's got um, things called the volume weighted ATR band in there as well, um, and that is basically two bands that we in a sense, we continuously respect, okay? This is this is the top side, it is the, the red one, as you can see here. We do continuously respect this line. And if we're not respecting it, we are seeing some sort of trend along it, as you can see here, and that's that's basically a great trade opportunity. Um, yeah, it's a great trade opportunity. We do have that to the upside, we do have that to the downside. As you can see, at this point on the short term for Bitcoin, we actually broke it. We broke it and we are trending down. We are trending down in terms of um, the volume weighted ATR band, which is this green line here. We do have the 10 simple that we're testing at the moment and the 21 EMA coming through here as well, okay? So we do have that, that resistance to get through, but we are currently finding support on the 10 simple, which is great. Um, but be wary of, go, of us coming up to the upside and getting a, basically a swift rejection of the, of this um, volume weighted ATR band and um, the 21 um, the 21 here, right? So um, yeah, so that's basically an indication of what I think could happen. We're basically gonna come up, either break it, if we find support, we're gonna look at a nice test of this trend line here. Um, if not, we could probably see a rejection, probably coming down to the, um, the 21 here. Um, 
yeah, probably coming down to the 21 here and then basically finding some consolidation point from there, right? Okay, so that is the short term for Bitcoin. Let me move straight to the midterm. In terms of the midterm for Bitcoin, as you can see here, let me just take that wad off so it's a little bit more visually appealing. Um, as you can see here, we are in a massive, massive falling wedge, okay? A massive falling wedge that has had a lot of confirmation, okay? We have got touches that are just, they're just, there's just so many touches, so many touches. The confirmation is good, okay? It's a healthy, healthy trade trend. It's a healthy, it's a healthy chart pattern. It's a healthy chart pattern. Can't get my words out. First video and all that. Give me a break. <laughs> so as you can see here, we have found support on this trend line here. Okay, we did find support on this trend line, even though it was Elon, and even though it was a lot of the old FUD, FUD markets, right, okay? So we have found support, and we are pushing to the upside, okay? Um, in terms of what I think is gonna happen, I don't, I can't see us breaking this wedge anytime soon. As you can see, the buying power to the upside, as you can see on these previous touches, right? As you can see on these previous touches, we do have buying power to the upside. So I can basically see us coming up from here and potentially in the long run, seeing us coming up and testing the top side of this uh, top side of this falling wedge, okay? If not, we could, if, if we are going into the dreaded bear market itself, we could be looking at a break to the downside. In terms of a measure move for that, uh, in terms of a measure move for that, we are probably looking at something along the lines of this. Uh, something along the lines of this to the downside, it's not good. De obviously, depending on where we break along the wedge itself, uh, we could be looking at a measure move of around th to, to around 33k. God, that's awful. To around 33k Bitcoin. God, that'd be a big buying opportunity. Uh, and that's around a 26% trade itself, okay? So that's definitely something to think about in terms of the downside for Bitcoin, in terms of entering that bear market, the dreaded bear market that everyone's on about. In terms of the upside, if we can break the upside wedge here, the upside side of this wedge, obviously depending on where we're gonna where we're gonna break this wedge, we could be looking at a new all-time high for Bitcoin around a 68, 69 mark. Okay, obviously that's um, depending on where we break, right? If we're gonna break there, we, we'd see a lot higher. But the lower we come down the wedge, the lower the measure move is gonna be in terms of an all-time high for Bitcoin if we can get there, right? Um, so that is the falling wedge chart pattern for the midterm for Bitcoin. If I'm going to go bring up the RSI for Bitcoin, we, we were seriously oversold here. We were seriously oversold, and that is basically obviously due to Elon himself, right? Due to Elon tweeting about the environment and all that stuff, okay? What I'd like to see here is the RSI basically return to the center, return to the center, get some ground, get some ground, bring the price of Bitcoin back up so we actually, we actually know where we stand, okay? Because a lot of people... They're losing it. They're losing it. A lot of the portfolios and everyone's down today. A lot of money has come out of the crypto space, which which is not good for us. We want more money in. We want more money in. We want this bull bull run to continue. Okay. So yeah, I, hopefully we can see the RSI coming up. We do have um, this pretty obvious this pretty obvious trend that we have um, on the RSI here. So I could see basically some some um, resistance being basically formed at around a 54 RSI. Obviously, depending on the price action, whether we can get there. Um, but yeah, so that's what I think about the RSI on the midterm. In terms of the um, the MACD on the midterm itself, let's bring that bigger. Yeah, the MACD um, on the midterm itself, we do have a lower low that has been set. Okay, that that's that's another lower low over here. But obviously, that trend has come to an end, right? So we could be seeing seeing a new trend forming. But obviously, we are still in that um, that trend on that uh, that bear trend on. On the MACD, right? We haven't had that bullish crossover, that confirmation of an uptrend forming. Okay, and we are, as you can see, we're quite a way away. We're we're, we're still a way away to get there. Okay, so we need to think about: Are we going to set a lower low than than the, the, the current low, <laughs> the current low of this trend? Right? Are we going to set a lower low? How low is it going to be? Are we going to, or are we going to retrace? Are we going to see a bullish crossover? That's something to think about when entering a position, okay? We are currently quite far away from each other in terms of these moving averages here, right? We do need to think about that when entering a position. So in terms of what I think is gonna happen, we do, it's, it's, we're quite far away from a crossover, so I could potentially see us coming down a bit more, maybe, maybe coming down, testing this trend line on the bottom of this falling wedge here, okay? And basically seeing, basically a retracement in the price from, from the pump that, we've, pump that we've recently just had. Uh, basically bringing us back down to around 46k, okay? Hopefully, hopefully not, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's the MACD, that's the RSI on the midterm. Let me bring up, um, let me let me do a little bit of explanation on the EMA ribbon for uh, the midterm that we have here. As you can see, we do have 
trade signals continuously on my chart. They're just everywhere. They're everywhere. Okay. This indicator is basically it's basically done on. As you can see, these look like really healthy positions. These look like really short, big, bang, long, big, bang, lovely. Okay. They look like great trades. They are great trades. They're making money. Okay. This indicator itself is done on um, basically the moving averages that are all clumped together. So we've got 21, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, right? Okay, so that is basically how it's worked out. And that is these, these little lines all the way along here. These are basically moving averages, right? When these consolidate and basically group up, we're looking at some sort of breakout. And that's when it gives some sort of signal, right? So as you can see here, we did consolidate, we did group up, and then we had the breakout long. And that's when it gives us that juicy, juicy long signal there. Likewise with this short signal here. It, in a sense, it predicted Elon. <laughs> in a sense, right? So um, as you can see, two very healthy trades there. Here, not so much. We did have a little stop out. I think I was around 2%, right? Yeah, just around 2%. Um, here, nice, lovely long trade all the way up. And we use um, we use what, what we have here on the last chart. It was um, the WAD machine, right? Because um, courtesy of Bitcoin Beast. Um, we, we use this to plot um, our take profits and um, our, as you can see here, look, volume weighted ATR band. Very reliable, very great take profit for that trade. In terms of percentages for that trade, um, we're looking at just something looking like that. It was a nice 15% trade. It's just ridiculous gains, okay? Ridiculous gains, okay? That is what we need for our portfolio. And we need that portfolio to grow. That's what we want. We want that money, okay? We want that money. So yeah, so we use um, the WAD machine to basically plot our take profits um, in terms, because um, it plots out the monthly, the, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly um, pivot points um, to basically take profit. And as you can see, we do respect them, okay? We do respect them. And in terms of like taking profit, we would have, say if we got into this trade here, we would have come up and we'd have taken profit around near this support here, okay? Or we'd have rode it all the way up and waited for a nice touch on this volume weighted ATR band. But obviously nothing is, um, nothing's always confirmed. And especially with Bitcoin, all it takes, as we saw today, one Elon tweet, okay? So that is basically the midterm for Bitcoin. Um, and that is a little explanation on the EMA ribbon. And um, it's 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 a great indicator. I'm just gonna say that it's it's making great money. Okay, that's that's what, that's why we're here, right? That's why we're here. We're here to make money. Okay, so that basically pulls me on to the. Um, they, no, let's go back to our question: Is Bitcoin gonna fully recover from here? It could. In terms of this chart pattern, it could. We could see a basically another test of us coming. Probably probably a bit of consolidation around when we got these um these um major moving averages coming down. Probably some consolidation around there. But I can see us basically coming up and sitting at around 57k. We're, I don't see us coming up straight away and um, seeing some new all-time highs and stuff. But we do have the volume weighted ETR band up there to think about. So if we do get some insane buying power, then that is some sort of target area for trades, right? In terms of when we're going to break this um, falling wedge. Moving on, moving on to the long term for Bitcoin. The long term for Bitcoin is really really interesting okay it's really interesting and i'll do some explanation on a lot of the indicators that i have on the screen here um at the moment you can only see uh, you can only see two yeah you can only see two but um i do have a few more hidden in there as well which I, I will be talking about as you can see here we have had a rising wedge um since february since february and i'm sure a lot of you guys n knew that and saw that and basically saw it planning out when we dumped um around a few weeks ago right um the measure move down for that was looking something like that we did complete it um, and in terms of percent for that, that was a nice 14% there. So this is this is what I'm saying. Like this is why I'm a swing trader because it's you get you get bigger trades rather than sat, sitting there scalping all day and doing all that sort of stuff, right? So you can see that measure move from that. So that is a completion of the trade pattern. We we've now basically come down. This is this indicator itself, right? This indicator is called the bull market barrier. It basically indicates when we're in a bull market and when we're in a bear market, okay? As you can see here, from around 13K here, we entered that bull market and we basically rode it all the way up and we, we basically find the support on this bull market barrier itself. If we don't find support on the bull market barrier, we then it then switches. It switches to sideways action and that is what is happening here, okay? That is what is happening here. And that is, I hate to say it, it's the start, it's the indication, it's the indication that we could be entering some sort of bear market. As you as you can see here, we did have a few swaps, um, a few swaps here um, in terms of when we were in the bear market, a few swaps here on the indication we were gonna enter the bull market. And what happened? We entered the bull market 
and look at that price action. We went all the way up, okay? We, we saw some great new all-time highs for Bitcoin. It pulled all the other altcoins with it. We made some great money, okay? But right now, right now, we have just gone to the sideways level on this um, bull market barrier. So that's something to think about. Um, if, we, if, we, if we're gonna lose, if we're gonna lose the bull market barrier here, we could be looking at it turning red, and then we could be looking at some sort of um, some sort of reversal in the price um, for Bitcoin, right? And we know what that does to all the other altcoins. It brings them all down with it, okay? So that is something to think about in terms of the long, long term for Bitcoin, okay? I'm not saying sell all your Bitcoin, because hard all that, hard all that, okay? <laughs> right, so that is um, the bull market barrier basically explained. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, let me do, just do a little bit more on that, right? Um, as you can see here, um, this is this is the bull run up from um, from from the, basically the last major bull run for Bitcoin, right? When when we saw um, new all time highs at around uh, 19k, right? Um, this basically is a great indication that we were going into the bear market. It basically proves what I was just saying, right? We basically came down, we split, we changed to the bear market. Sorry, we changed to the bear market here, and then we basically rode it all the way down, right? So that is a great indication that we're going to go into that, and that is why I use it as um, use it as a great indicator for basically finding out finding out whether we're in a long term bull market or bear market. So it's definitely something to think about there. Okay, in terms of you're probably wondering these signals again on my chart, right? This is called the hash ribbons. Okay, this is called the hash ribbons, and this is basically another sort of signal signal indicator, and it tells you when when to long, when to short. Right, as you can see here. We got in a long at 17, 18K, I think it was, yeah, just above 18K, right? We got in that long just above 18K, and you basically follow it. You tell it, tell it when to close position, and look at that, 170% gain, right? That was a massive trade for us. That was a massive piece of my portfolio, right? This is the God mode indicator, right? It's just ridiculous. I think over, over the time that I've had it, it's only given literally like six trades, but those six trades are just ridiculous gains look at that 50% gain on bitcoin just ridiculous okay so we know that this is obviously we have a few stop losses you're not going to win every trade right um so yeah you know we know that this indicator itself is just godly it's godly it's 157% it's just ridiculous gains okay so that is basically that indicator explained um in terms of how I made money with that um the next two indicators i want to show you are rounded blue box zones obviously these are all courtesy of bitcoin beats itself don't know how the chart's going to perform because it's got quite a lot on it right now if we start with the upper zones right this is the upper zones of um the rounded blue box zones and this is a linear regressional growth curve okay it's a linear regressional growth curve from the start of bitcoin all the way to now to the live price okay and as you can see here when we cross when we cross one of these blue lines here it's basically an indication that the price is going to go up, and then there is a there's a potential trade, right? And then what we do, we take profit at all of these yellow support lines, support resistance horizontal lines, right? So we take we basically take profit all the way up. So when we actually have a reserve reversal in the price, we've already covered our position, we've already made great gains, um, and then basically we come down and we get ready for the next run up. It's as simple as that. And we're just continuously making money with this indicator, right? 17% there, 26% there. It's just gains, 20% there, 25% there. It's just, honestly, this indicator itself is just ridiculous in terms of gains, right? Need I say any more, that is just the upper zones. Let me bring the lower zones down. Let me bring the lower zones, right? These are lower zones. It's just gains. It's just gains. We always find support on them, near enough every time. We always find support on them, um, and it's just it's just continuous gain. As you can see, it's literally just gains. It's just gains. We're just making money. It's just so much money. We're making so much money, right? And that is basically the rounded blue box zone, linear regressional growth curves, right, from the start of Bitcoin to now. This is what I'm saying. So, what I'm what I'm trying to say here is. As you can see here, we do have a bull market barrier. As I explained earlier, the bull market barrier is this point here, right? This this lovely barrier that we have here. What I'm saying is, we have these rounded blue box zones. So, when we're in a bear market, we could trade these all the way down. It's as simple as that. Let me bring up that run there. It's as simple as that. We know where the market's gonna stop. We, we can trade it all the way down in terms of short positions, 
because we basically just short every time we lose one of the blue boxes. And it's just gate. It's just gate. It's just money. So basically what I'm saying is if we do enter a bear market, it's absolutely fine for us with these indicators because we, we've just got continuous trades. We've just got absolute continuous trades and continuous gains, right? Um, but in terms of what I think is going to happen for Bitcoin itself, um, let me bring up that, that upper zone. Um, so is Bitcoin going to fully recover? That's the question of the day, right? So we do have the next zone that we have to cross is around 54. Okay, if we can literally bounce from there, if we can, if we can bounce from the, from the bull market barrier point that we have here, right? If we can bounce all the way up, that would be absolutely brilliant. We're probably going to have see, we're probably going to see some some sort of consolidation around this um, around this uh, line here. Um, if we can find support on it, that'd be brilliant. We know it's going to be a trade to the upside, right? We know those gains are there, and then we're going to be taking profit at all of these other lines here with our position, right? <laughs> so um, yeah. So in terms of, do I think Bitcoin's going to fully recover? Yes, yes, I do. I think Elon absolutely screwed everyone. Um, and basically scaring everyone and basically manipulating the market in a sense. So I think, yes, it is going to fully recover, but it may take a little bit of time. And when it does, I will be getting in a nice juicy long using the rounded blue box zone there, right? Okay, that basically brings me to the end of the video. I'd just like to say thank you guys for tuning in to Crypto Chester. If you like the content, give it a like. Turn that, turn that thumbs up blue. Helps me out tremendously. Um, obviously, this is my first video, so um, I will be improving a lot. In terms of my schedule that I'm looking looking to do, I'm, I'm going to be streaming every single day from, I think, 8.30 in the morning. I'll be streaming from 8.30 in the morning till around 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so be sure to tune into that. And I'll basically be running through the, mid the, the, the short term, the mid term, the long term for Bitcoin. And it will also be going into a load of other altcoins as well, because I do have a lot of altcoins in my portfolio. And um, it will be a live stream, so you guys can request um, request different altcoins as well. And we'll basically do a live TA on that as well, and that'd be great, okay? Um, but yeah, so it's basically me signing off. Um, I'll see you in the morning for a, a live stream. And thanks again.